Y'all, uh, we trying to get a parking lot. Felicia acting like we in parking lots. Hey. Mm. No, they just came from Berlin. I thought so, but I'm just trying to make sure you weren't trying to get over here, too. Mm -hmm. You know where they park? It don't matter. It's just fine. Oh, where this man coming from? Mm -hmm. Him. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We're going to wait right here. Cut your blanket on. Let them pick it on. I don't care. It's me. All right, child. It is New Year's. We are... About to go to our first brunch, lunch of New Year's. Well, it's just right here. They can't go around. You know, huh? beauty babes it is january the 2nd 2024 now y'all know if y'all hear some 2023s y'all know what that means i already be messing up days and stuff but i am happy i'm elated i'm happy we are here and there are a few things um today i'm working on like my content Content strategy. I worked on content strategy all last year. We're not doing it this year. We're going to definitely go to some new restaurants. Uh, the goal, like, st structure and strategy, like, um, I have a bunch of restaurants in my folder. I'm going to list them on, like, and I told Felicia, like, we got to go some new spots. But then also with my content creator friends, um, as well, so that's gonna be like fun, and then I'm gonna be at home, y'all. Um, I like my house, I like being here cooking and you know, hosting by myself. I've been here hosting myself, like security boards and bubbly, and even my tails. Like, I don't lay it off, I didn't drink too much, but not even because I didn't drink too much, but. I don't know. And my birthday is coming up. The birthday is going to be fun. So I'm thinking, y'all tell me if y'all want me to do something like, my birthday is April the 8th. And I was thinking about, so we'll do a, birth, a video every day of something. It's, I don't know. Y'all, the budget. The budget, so. But if it pans out the way I want to, um, it will be fun. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I got like, in my birthday, I think it's on a Monday. So I got like 20 ideas in my head. But, all right, y'all, we can go.
Winsty. <laughs> How's it January the 4th? Am I already like, it's Wednesday. Uh, it's Wednesday. It's hump day. It's January the 4th. Um, Verizon. So I just made my to-do list. Um, I uploaded my video last night. Even though I was up kind of late. Part of, okay, so I was watching. This is what had happened. This is why the TV don't be on. I was watching um, Nancy Natalia Grace Burnett. I was like, what is, like my TV, like I cut the TV on sometimes and just let the TV be on. So I was like, what is this man? And he's like, and she this. And I was like, what is going on? So of course I started paying attention. That's why I be having the TV off. And uh, let me cut my fireplace on. Maybe because the fireplace burning be a whole vibe. And I be having my praise and worship going. Um, so, yeah, so I was like, um, that's really what happened. Then I was over here editing. And just really, y'all, yeah, the back office ain't together. Nothing is together. I was really over here trying to. What is going on? Uh, I was really over here trying to get my back office together which is like because when I drop these videos and organize videos like unfortunately I can do a recap because everything was deleted like I delete and I'm trying to make room it's just too much so I was going through uploading I have Dropbox I pay for Dropbox I have a turbite on Dropbox on Dropbox which I know eventually will not be enough which I know eventually would not be enough, but it's in the cloud. So it's like, like okay, I, so pretty much towards the end of the year, like um, I got something I need to, I pretty much drop everything to my iPad if it's a real. Then what I started to do lately, doing Vlogmas was gone and putting it on Final Cut so I could just sit down and edit. The goal is just to make everything smooth. If I decide to shoot Friday, I need to pull out my iPad and what's up next to shoot. What was I gonna shoot Monday or whatever, Tuesday? What's next? Whatever the case is, let's get it out the way. Let's get it edited. So I'm just trying to make everything smooth. So March, I'm not still sitting right here doing the same shit. We not doing it. April or the end of February. And then I also decided when I went upstairs last night, cause y'all know I ain't gonna be, I, um, I got my A7C and I'm blogging on it. I had looked at some old stuff I recorded. It's like, mm, it'll work. And then, you know, when the budget permits, I get another lens if needed. Cause if I don't need enough lens, I ain't got it. Two times won't you be mine? We just can't pretend. This love thing can take time. Three times then I'm in. I heard through the grapevines. You miss and I play time. Girl. Your beauty make them bow down. I need that body right now. Yeah. The love will never die down. Together we can fly now. So, baby, don't you ever be afraid of falling in love with me? Let me be your parachute. Parachute. One time out of ten. Four times on the state lines. We fly till the end. My hands on your waistline. Sky high, feel the wind. Five times, won't you be mine? This love thing can take time. Yeah. And no matter how long it takes, I'll be right here by your side. I'll be right here by your side forever. All right, child. So. It is, it is not late. It's 11, I finished watching Sisters and I did some work. I'm really happy where I got, I got on my notions and I had, cause I made my notions back in November. I don't know. I don't even know if this made it to the vlogs and I recorded it, but anyways. Um, it's really cute, but um, I had got stuck on some stuff that I was, cause I'm trying to make it like, not trying, I made it to where I can use it in this very, Y'all, I'm like A, B, C, D, E, F. I'm like 1A, 2B. No, I'm like 1A, 1B, 1C. I'm that person. So, anyways. 
enjoy my one glass of bubbly because that's all I needed. That's all I really can drink now. And um, Natalia Burnett, Natalia Grace. Y'all, they done had me sitting here watching Nancy Grace. Oh, but Nancy Grace, I haven't, like, normally you see Nancy Grace, it's like I'm missing Charles. I don't watch the ID channel like that. But, baby, this story had me in a chokehold. And then, when it went off, and I'm still trying, y'all, let me tell y'all. I was just on Instagram stories. Like, I was like, it's Natalia Grace, Natalia Grace Burnett, something like that. I was like, she got a new family. And I'm still like, why are they adopting her at 19? That's a whole nother story. What, how old she is, because they don't know how old she is. I don't know how old she is. And I'm just like, oh my God, God help her. Holy Spirit. Like, I'm over here just sad for this baby. She's still a baby. She's been through a lot, regardless of the situation. Y'all, let me tell you. <laughs> it got ready to go off. Baby, that new daddy her said, she gotta go. I was like, uh-oh. No, he black. He was like, awesome. She got to go. This is it. And we're done. And it's weird because it's like, she's been with them. This is my take on it for some years. So I'm going to be real. So I was like, what they want with her? Like, are they? Because I had to think like she's been with them before this TV show, right? So me thinking, what? Do they gain from getting her now? They got all these other kids that's around. So I think they adopt kids. He, the pastor, the church. I, I, I'm gonna be real. I was skeptical. I'm just gonna like, what y'all doing with this girl or whatever? But she, you know, handicapped. But then I know she probably get like a disability check. See, this how I be like, you know, this how I like what y'all. So anyways, they adopted her, and now with all this going on, she finna sue everybody i want to message her on tiktok they say she on tiktok i was on instagram on twitter you know where everything is first of all the internet been a, on a thousand but i wanted to message her and be like girl you sue the, the first people that put you to sue everybody like she got checks coming so that's my thought like but they had her before the tv show or any of this so it was like okay maybe but baby he was like she gotta go i was like uh-oh but I was thinking, like, if she was had those issues, they would have seen that before they completely adopted her. But if they completely adopted her, they get the monies and however that works, right? Or she played them until they adopted her. So what's the real story? Cause I'm still looking at the TV. Like I'm a good, I'm a good vibe, personal energy. So, so I'm like, it's, what's going on? Hmm. I still can't like, is she lying? I feel like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like I know her first adopted people did do some stuff to her. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm like, what's going on anyway? So. That was that. And then Cat Williams. Y'all, Cat Williams. What did I say? Today is the third. Today the, no, Thursday. Oh, today is the third. Hump day Wednesday. Y'all, Cat Williams. If y'all haven't, by time, go watch him on Shay Shay. I ain't even had time to watch him on Shay Shay.
down for your always. Girl, I'm down for your always. Girl, I'm down for your down, down for your down, down, down for your always. so torn in between watching um cat williams on my shows on bet plus cat williams is two and a half hours i just feel like i can go on instagram get the clips and then watch my shows on bet plus because i need to work but um let me tell y'all i got my first heckler today um so when i came in i had dji boom i sit down i'm messing with myself trying to get my set up so y'all can see me i eat order my food talk eat my chips salsa bam and I don't know, I guess they were just, and he had some truly. <laughs> and I was like, okay, whatever. And um, yeah, so here we are. And he said something else, but I had my AirPod in, but the manager, whatever he said, the manager looked over at him, looked at me, but I was like, y'all, I'll be like, you wanna fight? You wanna, I just hit that. No, I'm just playing. I got too much to lose. I got too much going for myself to be um, to be somewhere going back and forth with somebody drunk. But it was like, oh wow, like oh, okay, heckler. some food, came home, showered, skincare, and went straight to the computer. And this is what I don't want for 2024. Like, that's one thing Um, when people say, like, Bridget, well, you know, what are you going to do different? I don't want to leave the salon and have to come home and work on content. Um, I know it's going to be a process, but I want my Saturdays to me. I want my Saturday and Sunday to be mine. So like when I get off of work at the salon, like normally I treat Saturday as like a work day because I'm going to get up and go to church on Sunday. But you know, I still want it to be lax or whatever. But it is what it is. You know, you girl got to do what you got to do.
pretty face. Look at my nails. Okay, so today is Tuesday. I'm not gonna tell y'all what time it is, but I'm about to start filming. Uh, we in the beauty room. Everything is set up, ready to go. So my camera has been recording. My vlog camera has been recording for an hour. Um, and some change. I'm on three percent. I'm somewhat irritated. I'm hot. Um, I'm on to my third video of the day. Um, it's my fragrance video series. And I'm like, where are my notes? And oh, this is on this camera. I'm like, why is this in the background? Oh, anyways, yeah. So, um, I was like, I bright like this one ago when I was shooting this makeup video. But I'm about to do my fragrance series. It's for YouTube. And then I'm gonna have a fragrance of the week. I'm excited about this because I love perfume and just get into notes and things of that nature. And I'm like, where are my notes at? Because I filmed this already. So I'm looking for my notes. And then, um, I won't tell y'all what time it is, but it's, okay, it's 10 40. I had to run to Target some stuff i don't want to leave the house tomorrow um the weather here is supposed to get bad in dallas so i was like let me get some more stuff and tyrone is feeling better he's like you're gonna cook, cook what warm up the wings uh, anyways okay y'all i have finished i'm so proud of myself like i really pushed through
degrees in Dallas, Texas. Y'all know we don't do cold well. Well, um, I know y'all been hearing me talk about like my content journey and the things I need to do with my content and all that. One of the things, <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all how 2022, it is 24, 2022, I supposed to be going live like every other week or so and talk to you guys, just go live and talk to y'all or whatever, like chatting with Bridget, cocktails and chatting, something like that, whatever it was, but it's just going to be like chat. I'm still looking for a name. Um, I seen some stuff, but, um. It's more like lifestyle. Like, it's nothing formal. Like, I'm sitting here on the floor, got on my flannel pajamas, my t-shirt to go with my pajamas, and I'm, it's nothing like, it's nothing like me with makeup on and all that. Like, of course, I wouldn't come on here there with, like, my fuzz or whatever, but for the most part, anyways. When I was looking for the name, because I was going to call it Kiki and with Bridget, my friend said it was too urban. She was saying it's ghetto what she said she didn't say it was ghetto but she's like it's just too urban and everybody don't know what that means but it's like about how you know we kick in you know kick in with bridget so y'all tell me if y'all like kick in with bridget anyways so chat with bridget is just so um it's so like because this is what happens people come and borrow your stuff they come borrow your words <laughs> i don't know how like people come borrow your words they borrow your colors they borrow your funds like that's just what they do and I'm wanting something that's um, I don't know original or whatever but right now we chat with Bridget Harrison chat with Bridget Harrison lifestyle like it's a lifestyle chat like us and everyday life or whatever anyways um that was so random like no people do borrow words and stuff people do crazy like at least I get a thesaurus if I want something like let me tell y'all if y'all want to use some words um Maddie told me this Maddie Maddie does here we was talking about some things and she was like just get a thesaurus and look for a different meaning so that's how I came up with bad craze bad craze means trendy and chic but everybody uses trendy and chic Fab craze. Fab means trendy and chic. Craze means uh, trendy and chic, so it's bad craze. Fab craze. That's how I came with bad craze here, Slug. Like, right, I use a thesaurus. So if you're looking for something, like if you see something somebody is using, so I mean, you like it, y'all get a thesaurus. Just don't steal people's whole words. I'm so irritated right now because the Cowboys, like they came back at the end, the score was like 48 to 32, but why y'all wait till the end? And our defense was garbage today. Dallas Cowboys defense was garbage. Like I could not have been sent by nobody mom. The defense was garbage. It's time for the Cowboys, Jerry Jones, it's time to like diversify the team just a smidge more. We need some younger coaches. We need a different leader. Dak, like he had been playing good, but part of the problem is the offensive line because number 78, I think, or 77, one of them jokers, always missing their blocks. Um. And then the plays they was calling, they didn't put number nine in the backfield today. It was just like, Pollard, like the offensive line, like it starts with, anyways. My um, perfume video I did, my fragrance, starting my fragrance series, y'all, is a long form video. As of right now, it has like 440 views. I'm low key crunk about that. 
and uh, yeah. I'm drunk about it, I ain't gonna lie. Monday, I had planned, oh, I just popped everything. I had planned on, what is today? The 15th of January. It is MLK Day, birthday. Look, y'all, I love my, um, don't judge me. I love my facial headband on because I ain't gonna comb my hair. So I was like, oh, this is like a cute little headband. And I'm not going to wear it. I got my, my favorite onesie on. Right, because it's cold outside in Dallas, Texas. Y'all, it was cold. It was snow. I ate some summer on the ground when I woke up. But by the time, because I need to get this content for Vaseline. Because I've been sitting on it. And I was like, okay, let me do that this morning. And baby, by the time I finish all that and the ice was gone, I was going to give y'all a little pan. Baby, but it was it patches. So anyways. so extra y'all I slept so freaking good last night I was like I just went to bed with gratitude and I don't know I was just like Lord thank you like y'all it's taking forever and it's crazy because God been preparing me the entire time so I just went to bed with gratitude and woke up with gratitude and I'm really like seeing the like not the fruits of my labor but everything that I have been doing I'm totally seeing it like the pieces of the puzzle is coming together like this piece from 21 this piece from 22 this piece from six months ago everything is coming together like even just the smallest thing of changing my workstation around Y'all, I had my head down. Like, I was, yeah, had it down. Damn. You know, I went and watched Sisters. I don't know why Sisters, off topic. I don't know why Sister, Sisters, like, I got BET Plus. Why we can't get that on, on demand? Like, when the new episode come out, 
Well, I mean, I get it. Even if we could get it the next day, that's the only thing. Like, that's weird, but that's another story. But um, when I did watch Sisters, I did get up and go watch it, sit down. It was time for me to go to bed by then. But y'all, like, get my rhythm together and just like, okay, no, I want to say this. And then, like, the script. And so it wasn't just like, because sometimes I just pull out my notes and kind of, it was just like very detailed. And then I was like going on like, okay, add my ad-libs. Add my ad-libs. I was like, ad -libs. No, I'm just, no, I'm serious. Y'all know I'll be extra. So, but it was just really coming together. And I'm just like, damn, God, you really, I, I just woke up with gratitude. Because that's like one of the biggest puzzles of creating. And, you know, like you're creating and you're doing this work, but then you're not organizing. Because I done got away with really freestyling for a long time. I really have. But I was like. But I've been trying and like I gotta do it. And now it's just like, am I like the crazy thing about notions is I can do, do notions on my phone, I can do notions on my computer, my iPad, I can do notions everywhere. So even on my downtime, if I'm sitting at the salon, it's nothing for me to say, okay, what am I filming next? Like I kind of have an idea. And for the things that aren't planned, especially like my series. Okay, let me go and research this perfume. Y'all, my perfume, the fragrance series, is gonna be so educational like i was like i learned so much just sitting down doing the research to it because i it what's the point yeah i got these perfumes and they smell good but then if i'm not telling you how you can learn perfumes for yourself then it's the being a purpose and speaking of this new lens this new lens this 158 dollar lens is lensing in the salon it's just giving me the perfect blurred effect like what i wanted i ain't cropped in like god god it's just y'all we don't on the stick it's just so amazing oh my god i had my praise and worship music on i ain't been i was like uh maverick city bless me bless me bless me mm -mm 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 -mm. kirk franklin and then past mike like tie oh lord i was in here kind of turned so that ain't helpful but i'm just standing here in gratitude and gratefulness and as i was preparing to get ready for my client because i was scrolling i ain't gonna lie i was scrolling i was like Put your phone down, sis, and do what you need to do, because I have a long day. I'm going to be here a little late today. So go on, put your phone down, and prepare for your client. Um, you know, I got to thread my needles and things of that nature. Like, go on and do that. I already, like, put water in my steamer and stuff. But I was like, go on and prepare for your client. But y'all, God is just so amazing. I don't tell you nothing else. God is good, even when you think he ain't, he is. God be God. Oh, that's a shirt. God be God. I mean, I just like, man, like y'all, I was just like, damn, like I'm sitting here thinking of everything and, and the crazier part was in November is when I redid my notions. When I found, oh girl, let me see, God just be using YouTube and blessing me. Like when I got off this list, it just was like, it appeared. This girl, her notions, the girl that showed you how to do your own notions, her shit just appeared. It appeared like. Hey guys, hey beauty babes. It is Friday afternoon. Um, I just got in from the hair salon and um, I'm setting up. I'm setting up to shoot. Uh, the content I didn't shoot was Tuesday, normally it's my shoot day, but I did. Um, that light and then the Lord said let it be nice so I'm gonna shoot with my curls um I have everything wrote down I was like damn I left my iPad I don't think my iPad is charged I had to bring it okay so I have everything wrote down and I need to oh I need to send out two emails and um yeah so that's what we're about to do. So we're about to shoot. Um, I'm excited. I'm overly excited because I'm so organized. This should not take me a long time at all.
try it was really really good and um y'all we made an accomplishment like i sat down and recorded five reels and two youtube videos and what made it organization of my scripting even when I went off script I had to reel myself back in I don't know what God is preparing me for but baby like it was just giving like I'm happy for myself I don't care like I was like okay God thank you so much Holy God. Enjoyed the San Francisco Green Bay game. It was a good game. The Cowboys could never. Y'all, this, I came home, right? Look at this right here. Like, I was like, I'm not going to open this without y'all. Look at this. So, I've been tagging our deal forever, y'all, right? I have another story, too. I'm going to wait for that package to come. So, randomly, like at the end of December, I received an email. Hey, Bridget. I want to send you some PR. Y'all been tagging Ardell like, y'all don't understand. I've been tagging Ardell lashes, A, because I use them. So it's not like that. Like, I use her lashes, you know? So, um, I come home, and I was going through my emails the other day because people be reaching out, they say, so I can kind of watch for stuff because I be forgetting. Y'all came home, I opened up the door, I was like, so Beachy is sending me some pieces. So I was like, oh, my Beachy box came early. So I got upstairs. It said Ardell on it. I was like, this is a big old box. Right? I was like, oh, okay, Ardell. I got crunk. I pulled my camera out. That's what I did, because, oh wow. So they have the cushions, and so when they email me, what the freaks? Ardell, this, first of all, this box, Okay, so, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm being extra, y'all. I'm tired, I'm tired, y'all. I had a 12 hour day at the salon. To God be the glory. Is this what they've been waiting for? You ready? I used to break the times like this, the rhyme like this, so I had to grind like that, to shine like this, in a matter of time. I My God, this is so per Oh, wait a minute, hold on, y'all. Oh my God, y'all look. Ardell said, Ardell said, you got the lashes. Oh. They say you can wear these up to 10 days. They said, what kind of lashes are you wearing, sis? So, I've received PR. But I think this is like my first like PR box. Like, you know when you see the people, you're like, damn, goes. Well, I be saying goes, because this is what I'm trying to do, right? Y'all, I can tell y'all. Let me make this slow. Yo. Hey, you guys. Happy Sunday. Hey, beauty babes. Happy Sunday. So, I just got out of church. And I was riding and thinking about um, Bishop preached on. The sermon was called, I Am Blessed, right? 
I'm about to go in here and eat, but I want to say this while this was on my mind. Because I sat here, and there's some things been going on this weekend. Nothing bad, but just, like, life. But some things I realized after listening to the sermon, I hadn't just talked to God like, God, you know what? This, this, this. And a lot of it was like childhood trauma. So I know it's hard for us to speak on childhood trauma. It's hard for us to talk about childhood trauma, some of us or whatever the case is. And yes, I have a counselor, but I hadn't talked to God about how I feel in and I didn't ask him why. I just like, you know what, God? This stuff is holding me back. The hurt. Um, not the why means, but the why means. Um, how. Just a few different things. And what I realized was, I hadn't just got that off of my chest with the Lord. Like, God, you know what? I don't want this in. This hurted my feelings when this happened, and this happened, and when this happens, because here at 47, there's been a lot of things that trigger me, and y'all, I just got a lot of, like, my daddy was killed, like, things, like, um, this guy was celebrating his birthday, uh, his 50th birthday, ironically, this was a while ago, ironically, the person that shot him also killed my daddy, right? I don't know him personally. We know some people in common. He was celebrating his birthday, and it triggered me. It hurted me. Like, dang, my daddy, you know, my daddy got killed. My daddy did. It triggered me, like, on, um, like, small, itty-bitty small things. Triggers the hell out of me. And I didn't realize, like, I was really being triggered, but this past year, and I just feel like because you take so much and you just keep going and keep going and keep going to like, a bitch out here about to explode, right? And I was like, God, you know what? And when I say it triggered me well, about my dad's death, it was more so like, damn, my daddy, you know, he's dead or whatever the case is. And it wasn't like he's dead and this guy's alive. It was just a, it just made me think about the whole situation. Cause this man, he's not like, because of his injuries, like it messed him up. He's just alive. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like, damn, but I'm happy he lived. Like, you know, people got kids and families. You know what I'm saying? Man, live 50, he's 50 now. So God be the glory. But it just, it didn't bother me. It just brought up emotions I probably just hadn't dealt with, you know? But then, also, like, the other things I'm sitting here talking about, I'm like, I just had not talked to God. Like, stuff happens, but I just had not talked to God about this whole situation. Like, and I feel like, regardless of what's going on, as for trauma and the people and all of that, I gotta go in here. These people walk in. We have to... Give all that stuff to God and tell God because I feel so much better. I was talking about something Saturday at work. My chest started hurting. That's how much it bothered me. I'm not even realizing like, y'all, the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And them things that he happened to us and things that grown adults, kids, teenagers, whatever it is, those things he tried to use to take us up and stop us from walking in our destiny. And it's a lot of us. I'm saying us that can't do what we got to do because of those things. Baby, let me tell you something. I just released all that foolery. All that mess. The things you can control, you can. The things you can, you know, the, the things you can, you can control, you can. The things you can't, you can't. I can't control how somebody else felt and how somebody else treated me. I don't care who that person is. I don't care who that person was. Family. And then the scripture has something about family leaving family. Like family, kids, mama, daddy, all them folks, right? And we ain't talking about no relationship, talking about a man. It ain't nothing like that. But those things, you cannot control how somebody treated you or what this person did. But you can control as at a grown age how you're going to deal with it. And guess what, Bridget, as of today, January 
uh, 21st, is it the 21st of 2024? I'm leaving that ish on the flow in my lotto voice. It's on the flow. I'm not doing it. So I advise you guys, any of you that's dealing with something, to do the same thing. Let that stuff go and go talk to God. I, I, I had never, all the hurt, regardless, anything happened, I just be like in my feelings and be like, okay, God, it's going to get better and keep moving. I ain't just said, God, I don't like this. And God, this, 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 and this, and this. And, you know, I was like, dang. And I had like, and me, I be in here talking to God like I talk to y'all. So it was just like a real conversation. But my my heart is not heavy no more. I'm, I'm okay with the outcome. I'm okay with it. Because guess what? I just gave it to God. So with that being said, because the, the, I mean, Kenny's and the people be coming, so I'm going to go ahead and get us a seat. I will talk to y'all later, but I just want to, because there's somebody else feeling like me, and we're, we're, we're trying to make these relationships with people work, that's, it's out of our control, and you can't change nobody, period. You can pray for them, you can't change them. So give that stuff to God, and we'll talk to y'all later, because they're coming in, and I don't want to be sitting by the door. Give it to God. Look, y'all, so I'm sitting here working. I have something to tell y'all. Take a, a few minute break. Um, I'm trying to make sure I tell this story. So, it's not a bad thing, it's weird. I had, um, okay, so like, I'm that person, like, if you text my phone and it's the wrong number, I'm going to be like, wrong number or this is the wrong number, right? Especially if it seems like something of business, of urgency, or importance. So, I, I'm walking light around the conversation because you don't never know who you know or who could see this video, right? So... Um, someone texted my phone this morning looking for, um, a person. Let's say it like that. It was of urgency. I was like, I was like, um, hi, wrong number. And it was like, yeah, no, nah, this is the number. Well, no, it's not. Like. Whatever they was looking for, I was like, nah, that's not it, right? He was like, oh my God, I apologize, some, 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 which is cool. But then, um, another text message came. They was like, oh my God, I apologize, some, some, some. So, I was like, um, oh, it's cool. I saw it was important. I responded, like, that's just who I am. That's just what I do, right? Then I got another message, right? 
Then this evening, I got one, two, three, four. I got five messages, y'all. It's on my work phone. It's on my personal phone. And yeah, I was like, why are we still texting? I really want to say what the text, the last text said. I haven't even, like, I'm a bad person. Like, what? I didn't even completely finish reading it. If I receive another text from that number, I'm going to block it. It's weird. People be weird. Like, if someone texts me, if I text somebody, like, one time, <laughs> it's this girl. I ain't going to say her name. Ooh, she's pretty known here in Dallas. She changed her number. And I was like, hey girl, some, 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 some. Like, I hadn't texted her in a while, but we be talking on Instagram. So I was like, let me text her. Oh, it was like her birthday. Our birthdays are around the same time. Hey girl, if you watching. And um, I texted her phone and was saying some. And the person was like, hey, this is not Soin' Soul's phone anymore. Baby, I cackled because that person was tired of us texting for that person. But the, you could read the attitude all in that message. I thought that shit was funny. But, whew, like, thank you for, I was like, oh my bad. And then I got on Instagram, like, girl, you changed your number? She was like, oh yeah, my baby. Da, 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 da. And then it was, and she texted me in whatever the case was. That shit was funny, motherfucker said. Quit texting me looking for this pee. <laughs> I can imagine those text messages, right? Because she bad. She bad. She bad. Break it back. You a bag. Okay. Fifty bag. Anyway. But yeah, so I just think, like, let me tell y'all something about me. I'm very friendly. I'm very personable, right? But I have boundaries. And y'all, it's just some things you don't do. Like, some things like I'm just weird when it comes to certain things. Like if you following me, like I watch out my rearview mirror when I'm driving. Like if a car is following me too long, I'm turning and really watching and paying attention, right? I'm just weird like that. Like why are you still texting me? Then it makes me wonder like, whew, what's really going on? Like I'm weird like that. If we're out and you stare at me too long, like really like, like, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I should talk about it. But if you just weird, like, I went to a party one time, our gathering, and, um, like, if you stare at me too long, like, hey, oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> hey, girl. You know, and I get it, cause I do hair, I do hair, I do makeup. Like I'm from Dallas, um, I get it. I went to Lincoln, went to Samuel, I get it, right? But after so long, you keep staring at me and be like, what's wrong? And then I get defensive. I don't know if it's defensive or protective. Like why you, why, why, why your friend still staring at me? She, do she know me or something? Yeah, I was like, hey, what's going on with your girl? Why she keep staring at me? Because then she mugged me, too. Why is she out here mugging me? She know me? Then I get to being like, so do you know somebody I know? Because then, you know, it'll be awesome. Because my, um, both of my BDs are popular. One of them real popular. He old and still a tool. But he handsome, so I get it. But then he like, sis, why you staring at me like that? Like, I'm that person. Like, I can be real cool and friendly, but... He's starting to me. I'm being weird. I'm like, or if someone is weird, like, um, I don't have people come in like, oh, you be living life. We gonna hang out. Like, get they heard of like, bitch, we gonna hang out. Like, okay. No, we not. <laughs> not like that, but like that. Like, I'm weird, y'all. Like, I'm friendly as fuck, but that friendly shit turns out. If, if some weird stuff gets going on, somebody being weird, or if I, they, like, you being weird, or somebody watching, or doing too much, like, all them smiles leave, and 
I'd be like, well, well, what's the problem? What's going on? Not even like, like I'm aggressive. I could be aggressive, but not like an instigator or something, but just like boundaries and like, what's going on? What, what, what's all this? I'm gonna smile with you and you get the overstep for your, my boundaries. You know, be like, all right, sis. Like I was eating one time, lady kissed me. Why are you kissing me? It's the afro. No, I was just playing. <laughs> no, I was seriously. I was like, oh, like, and I was like, all right, y'all, I'm finna go. Like, it, that was like, man, I'm finna go. Like, people be like, get full of that look and get to being really weird, really, really, really weird. I don't be having no parts of that. Child. First of all, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Second of all, why do they have the real husbands of Hollywood on at 3 o'clock in the morning? That should be coming on early. If y'all ever want to sit down and just freaking laugh, oh my God, please watch the real husbands of Hollywood. Them first few seasons, like Kevin Hart actually ate with that show. The ad-libs and all the food we going on in that show. Baby, let me tell you. Damn, Bobby Brown between Nelly. I love it. Nick, Nick Cannon. Like, it's just good laughter. Um, I just want to check in with you guys before I get ready to go to bed. I ain't been at the computer all day. Just to be really transparent with you guys, I'm really, really doing my best to, like, really have a very productive, um, reliable YouTube channel, this is the most consistent I have ever been since I've been on YouTube. Like, the ending of the year going into now. But what I don't like, and even with me doing hair, because once I said this is a business, and now I'm fine-tuning things in this business, because once I said it's a business, I want it to run like a business. Like, I don't like being late to work. Um, I don't like being overbooked. It's things I don't like. And if things start to happen, I'd be like, okay, how can I fix this? So what I don't like right now with me and YouTube, and it's me, is if I say my videos are going to drop at Monday on 8, 8, 8, 8 a.m., I don't want my videos dropping Monday at midnight, Tuesday at midnight, or 11 p.m., or 11.59 p.m. If I say my videos going to drop at 8 a.m., I want my videos dropping at 8 a.m. I have ran into the problem. I have not been consistent in that schedule. Do I give y'all three videos a week? Mm, 80% of the time, yes. So I had to say like, Blog Friday, then you got Monday. Maybe Mondays, what I have realized, Monday is not the day to drop nothing. Even when I get caught up and get ahead, I work in the salon Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I get up really early and go to the salon. Saturday is like the day, like, whew. When I get off of work, and I've said this, I don't want to come home and edit. Or do it. Like, I might have to work on a reel or something, but really don't. I don't want to have to do that. And I know I have to, I mean, eventually I have to find some time. Maybe so for more editing, or once I get my schedule together, like really getting up like at 6 and at 5 and really editing all day. Because I really feel like I can edit um, a reel or whatever, especially with the way I'm filming now, with things decent and in order. I got a script out my makeup videos tomorrow, but that's not a conversation. Um, I want my schedules, my videos to drop, and I say, so I was sitting there thinking, I was like, hey man, it's gonna be Tuesday, and last week I dropped my videos, I ain't even dropped a vlog, last week I was like, I was late dropping my videos. I don't like that. Like, I would try, I want y'all to be serious. I can't build a community. Y'all be like, shit, it's Friday. I don't know what time Bridget gonna drop. I was sitting, I was praying, I was talking to God, and he was just like, girl, change your schedule. Because when I get out, so I work Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I get up and go to church. Sunday is just like, going to church is a work day. Even if I don't go eat, I come home and go to sleep. I be tired. Then Monday is like an errand day, but Monday is my sleep in lay day. So anything really important, I don't want to be stressed on my supposed to be off day that something needs to be done today and do. Like a real, oh yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. But even then, I don't want to be stressed on Sunday and Monday like, 
oh my god like i'm not overwhelming myself but i'm just not i'm not happy with Like, I low-key showed y'all my address a while ago. But I just got a package from L'Oreal. And y'all know how I be like, let's just open this together. It's one thing I think y'all not be expecting something. Because I be looking for it. And y'all, I'm fixing to be over here like doing makeup videos by the gazillion. And this is right on time. I just want to see. Because L'Oreal, they was send me like, hey, fill this out, fill this out. They've been doing it for like six months not longer so shout out to l'oreal let's see what's in this package together oh yes I, oh my god okay so hold on this said from child look what they done sent your girl why i was just like dang victor and ralph whatever them, oh i said whatever victor and ralph hadn't even like because they've been talking about this all freaking for the last two weeks and so um i'm gonna stop opening the package so um because victor and Roth had sent me some stuff before and you know they hadn't said anything and i was like i think i filled out something i think i don't know i didn't feel like nothing for this i filled out something the other day so anyways y'all because I really wanted this. I got the new Flower Bomb by Victor and Ralph. Oh my God, this is so, the boxing, the boxing is so pretty. Like, um, and y'all know I've been over here on my fragrance. We on our fragrance journey. So this is like right on time. The packaging. Oh, look at that. I was like, dang, I really, because I really, because I'm already about to do some of their perfumes, but I was like, dang, uh, did I fill that out? I don't know. I got to go through my emails. Anyways, it don't matter. I was like, I've been on a page like, hey, hey, it looks so pretty. Oh, L'Oreal sent this. Okay, L'Oreal, look at that. I ain't playing. Okay, so this is Tiger Lily. So looking at the notes, it has peach, it has coconut. And it has a lily flower. But let me get y'all, because this is just me looking at the picture. So I was just excited to smell it because of the notes and seeing the peaches and the coconuts and stuff from the um, online from their, y'all, they been like, the presentation was giving. So um, it's a fruity floral. Y'all, I, I feel like I'm about to love this. The fragrance family is fruity floral, y'all. I think like I'm about to love this. Um, the flower bum tiger lily is the perfect scent for the wild and fierce woman who is fully embracing her sensual femininity. Unleash the power of the wild tiger lily to get your sensuality roar. <sighs> ah. Y'all look at this. Oh my god, this is so freaking. It smells. Hold on. So let me see. I'm spraying it because I ain't putting nothing on today. Hold on. Let's see. So on my latest fragrance video, what I learned is like the notes. Y'all, I because what I know, the stuff that I really, really like are floral and fruity fragrances. So and ooh. 
when you first spray a perfume, like the first note that you smell the first scent, it's the top note and it evaporates within five to 15 minutes. So I've been learning, baby, we was at Barreto, I think that is. We was looking at some stuff and he was like, oh, spray, uh-uh. I was telling my friend, I said, girl, uh-uh, wait. Let's go to uh, Zara first, cause we gotta let it sit. Cause you know, you smell it, you're like, oh, I like it. I was like, no, we gotta let it sit and let them other notes evaporate. Then you get that fullness. Now, when we left out of there, out of Zara, she was still smelling good. Now, the one I tried was okay. The one she had on was like, ooh, that was it. Y'all. Oh, it's giving. Y'all, this smells so good. Now, I'm gonna have to come back on here in 30 minutes. I think fully, y'all. The bottle alone is, it's giving fruity. I can smell it. It's gonna, oh, I can smell the coconut. Mm. I'm gonna say, this might be my favorite flower bomb. And bon bon is my favorite, but this one right here. Charlotte Tillsbury. This palette is probably about to be my new favorite palette. It's the Pillow Talk palette. And um, let me tell you something. This is like a satin color. It's not shimmery, but it's satin. I use this color and that color, y'all. And my lashes are from Lily. Like, I'm so in love with Lily lashes. Like, in my kid, I have me some Ardell and I have me some. But their lashes, like, they just be full looking and everything. Yeah, so, your girl, like, I, like I'm feeling like a million dollars. Just get ready to go again. So, um, I just wanted to check in with y'all, but I wanted to show y'all. I already did my background because I was on Charlotte Tillsbury, like Charlotte Tillsbury, I mean like Tills, Charlotte Tillsbury site. And she pretty much was like, they was like for the, um, the content, they wanted a white background. So of course, y'all swear God be talking to me like, like late at night, early in the morning. And I was like, when I came in here, just like everything was already set up because I did it last night. But it was like, um, change up your backdrop. And so it didn't take long. It's just I'm so used to having all the stuff that my lighting was too bright because it's white. But I get it, like a white backdrop. So some some of my favorite people or people I follow, like anybody with a super big following. 
paint like just look at them but i look kind of to see because anybody still has like a very clean it's this this curtain i didn't it's more of a while so, so it's like this is a wide lens um so it's kind of like you're not seeing nothing but this i know y'all like but you can look at the video the makeup video i'm about to do um it's today it's a black history like my favorite some of my favorite black owned products and i'll be using some other stuff because i don't have something like this 100 percent but baby i got a lot so i'll be using some other products as well but i won't feature that but i'm excited i kind of want to see what this is going to look like and even um editing this stuff because the sun is out but i was like i want to say give it because it's giving me like really on my camera daylight vibes but um daylight daylight i say daylight daylight vibes which will look really good like doing skincare and everything over here so i was like okay god i see what you're doing it's a wrap here i wanted you guys to see this look look the sun that said it changed the lighting in here a little but it still looks good it's cool it's cool it's cool but um i gotta put my hoodie on